Uh, yeah, we bought that. Those floating islands and stuff on the trailers. I thought maybe this would take me a bit farther than the previous one. But seems to be about the same. Uh, isn't it cold, man? Thanks for well, please here, especially oh, rest boy mage, so this cold weather won't get to me. But I can stay here forever, I got my signs turn around, okay. I'll leave switch. I really should redouble my support. It's fine. Ah. This was shorter. Uh, your helpers in this. Okay. Take this. A rupee. <laughs> now a rice ball. I didn't meet rice balls. Mm, this don't feel like I've taken to death. A bomb flower, okay. Mm, hey, bro, I'm going to climb the path. Shouldn't this make an up threat? Uh, hey there, are you here because you spotted bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going. So we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up lots of firewoods, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. So as proud as I am of them, they can be the spotlights set up around that fancy Skyville Tower. Ah, oh, it's close. It won't warm up, warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Oh. Yeah, highlights are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. What is this stuff? Oh. Ah. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebrew mountains. They are oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. Uh, I've even done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything, not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. They're heavy? I would imagine they would be pretty light. Uh, it probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Sure. Mushroom, often found at the base of pine trees in cold climates. These mushrooms are cool to the touch and can be used to cook dishes that allow you to stay cool even in arid regions. Mm. This thing's for a stranger and can begin to guess who made them or for what purpose. All I know is that it hurts pretty bad if you got hit by one. And they've been falling from the sky. You know, what's going on in the air up above Hebrew Mountain? Don't have any use for this, so there are a and to and cut them away. Oh, it's open. Oh, some free. Okay, let me talk to you first. Ah. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scamming you for food or investigation. Investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by but in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. <laughs> For example, a pinch of spiced pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. Mm. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. 
Well, since I'll do most of the heavy lifting, I'm okay with just taking all your supplies. Oh. Link, you're alright. Oh, I worried after I heard that you uh, got, had gone missing. What happened? Ah. Uh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. <sighs> and, all th and all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We are spread too thin to do with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I w wish I could do more for you. Oh. So, now that I think of it, maybe Tully could help. Where is he? <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but... A little Tully has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even he in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wing gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Strand Temba acknowledged that Tony's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does bring about it more than he should, but... Well, it's worth asking him at least. As I saw him, he was with Gazan and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to the Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the bottom, at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tully. Uh, Read the records, read the book about the storm wing arc. Okay. Uh, storm wing arc legends. One day, the winds that out blow to blow into the village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant, and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked scoured for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the moving gray clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the god stood atop the a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet, who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight in turn each hoping to reach the, the place above the clouds. Alas, none have wings strong enough. Saying this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the, the top pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began flowing up into the sky. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced sumptuously, and then, with luck, Reluctance returned to Earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again, the skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Ark. So in the story of the Stormwind Ark that saved the village so long ago. Uh, contents. <laughs> Stormwind Ark song. Once a god fell from the heavens, still in the Hebrew winds, the heavens... Ah, it's the same one that they sang. Okay. 
No, it was nice, nice park. Okay. What's here? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, that's not a good angle, but I know where that is. One second, the map. I'll mark them. Here, we're mountain climbing path. I don't know if there would be a proper path to climb here. Oh, why that? Let's go past Kaigo Town. they do with the Divine Beast. I think it's those platforms, maybe. Maybe it's that. It's marked. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah, I think that's it. This medicinal plant grows in high elevations, such as mountains in Hebrew or Yorud regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. Hang on, can I grab that? Okay, I can't. Oh, come on. That will be worse to climb. 
Unbelievable. Mm. Unbelievable that this huge things are raining down on us. Uh, what is happening up there in, in the sky? Oh, oh, oops. I had expected to meet a highland here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Ah. To go further up the slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. <sighs> Try to keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark the location. And they keep. If the cold gets too much for you, find a bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. Better edge, a double edge with a surge with a decay blade. Swing it produces a strong wind. Nice there the thing with the produce wind. Ah that. Ah, this one I can mind. Okay, I'm a bit curious as to where it would take me. Oh and there's Let's get you to the shrine as well. Hmm, I thought it would be stuck to something. Hmm, but this would be a bit trickier. Oh, there's that as well. Hebra Sassan Cave. Okay, I'll probably exit from here then. Let's see how we go. He's staying, okay. I think it was moving. Fine. That works. Mm, spicy mushroom. This falls uh, pop shroom. Ooh, I got one idea. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I thought maybe they would be scared. <laughs> Bokoblin guts? I didn't have yet. A rare material obtained by defeating a Bokoblin. It convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has a use. Swallow bow. This bow is a favorite among Ritual Warriors. The bowstring has been specially engineered for aerial combat, which allows it to be drawn faster than a normal bow. Soldier's spear. Although now decayed, it, this lightweight metal spear was made for royal soldiers because it's light and easy to handle, it enables quicker charge attacks. Oh. No, I'm 
actual world. Mm. Uh. Mm, what a disaster. I came all this way to scrunch mushrooms and all this. I never get to the deep parts of the cave with a messed up wig. Uh, cave? Hmm. Two shrooms grow all over this cave, so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food. But cold water has built up in here now, and I can't pick up any shrooms without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings would take me right over a little pond like this, mm. but, it hurt, but I hurt my wing in a small scrap of monsters. And I don't see how I can fly over the pond with this condition. The worst part is, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I bring back even more tuitions than last time. Mm. If I don't come back with at least 10 of them, you know, they'll be in my face. Okay, let me take a picture of that. There. Oh, hang on, I could ask about Tulling to him, and this is the wrong cave. You can be sure I'm not happening, the new carp sleep, on cold water, uh... Where's Tully? You're looking for Tully? He's out at another cave getting food with Gazani and them. Uh, there's a wolf farm in the entrance, you'll find it eventually if you go west down the mountain slope. If you start freezing on your way there, take a minute by the fire to warm up. Well, we could have at least got those. Let me see, that's too cold. Unbearable cold. Okay. Okay, now it fits. Good. Hmm, expect a frog in here. Oh. Um. I'll probably get here. I'll probably get here. Uh, I came to this cage to get our surfaces, deep inside, go to you can get there, do a careful sleep, all color water, uh, if I hang hard with swing. I'm gonna go to face the room. Is that enough? Huh? Wait, you didn't actually cross the pond and pick the two shows, did you? You weren't worried about falling into the freezing water? Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free though. Here, why don't I give you this? Ah. Now I can make good with all my big talk. You know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools of freezing water. Be careful where you explore. Here. Ah, here. Okay. Mm, eight from above. Okay, there's another thing, sir. I can do it, but it feels like a bit advanced or something like that.
That's pretty nice. I could have just run for there. Yeah, it seems too advanced for a regular shrine like that. Yeah, one now. I didn't need the blocks, they were just holding me down. Uh, they were probably for me to jump over the, the laser. Yeah. Yeah, the first I would use them to jump over the first laser and then the second one I would just crouch and be fine. I didn't check the war more chests. I don't think so, but I didn't check. Hmm, the rock isn't there anymore. But they didn't fall back. I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in this month anytime soon. What with the blizzard and all? I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Why are you talking like that? Oh. I'm foretelling, huh? Fair enough. He's far in the cave with Kazani. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've missed so far. Ah. And be on your guard, there's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. Ah, okay. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding building. Ah, is that a stem knock a bass? No, chuffing throat. Uh, this blue trout prefers cold bodies of water, its skin contains enzymes that keeps it, its body cool, and when cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Uh, Alright, so that was flint and... Oh. 
Stąd pewnie. Uh, a very young stone talus, their bodies toughen as they mature, becoming as tough as boulders by other foot. As a child, however, their bodies are light enough to be lifted and fragile enough to break when thrown. Ah, here's where I end up. That telling. What are we going to do with that boy? His son seems familiar. I think he's the guy that was at the entrance before. It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Hmm? Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Highland doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? You're here to talk to Tony, huh? You just miss him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tony clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm gonna follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. Uh, if you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a long cedar tree on Talonto Peak. That is where we saw the monsters. No doubt Talin, Talin followed them there. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking th these chances. Okay. Uh, here's where I was before. Long Cedar, there. What's the name here? Talonto Peak. Ah, it's that thing they were pointing out in the map. Ah, it's probably those enemies that he saw flying around. Well, let's get to the Long Cedar that the guy told me about. Frost Pebblich, a very young frost talus, their body studying as fro frost over as they mature, becoming entirely made of ice by adulthood. As child, however, their bodies are awfully fragile and are light enough to be blown away by a bomb's blast. A bomb's blast. I still can touch them. Ah, you're here. I thought maybe we would have gone farther. Can I jump farther? No. Not spend less while jumping. I don't know. Get my guard up. Stupid monster. Uh, Link, where'd you come from? What happened? Oh, you see. That rotten monster took my good bow. Hmm. See? That's the bow napper. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Sure. 
Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere if you like? I'll do it for you too. The way you can glide over to where the monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Uh, Tony's power of wind. Uh, when Tony is ours charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Mm. Okay, you can see the ball. Mm, an airborne monster that can be recognized by its distinct cries. They have strong, dexterous feet and can often be seen cruising through the sky with animals or other monsters in their clutches. Thankfully, the breed's lightweight. The aerodynamic body makes it easy to shoot down. There we go. I'm a big time link. Without you, my bow might be lost for good. Uh oh. There's more of them. Oh, I could have tried to shoot them before they arrive. Alright. They're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. My spear, spear. We did it. Hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for these monsters. Oh. Zelda? Uh, was that the wind? I, it couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oi. Hey, Tully, Link. Huh? huh? Some impressive team or you too. Oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassment. I didn't listen when Cassandra tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was full fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten back on my own. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're right, it really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what that has been trying to tell me all this time. Mm. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tully. Huh. Oh yeah, funny story about that, there was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and he stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above the cloud. Uh -huh. Well, Princess Zelda flew above, above the cloud. How can that be? Uh, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Uh -huh. Telling Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You said the princess soared to it. 
Shouldn't you talk to his father, the elder, first? Uh, but I thought I wasn't allowed. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside the cloud after all. Well, if it's colder closer to it, I think it was kind of obvious by now. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make my any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a route to a life capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tully. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tully will be the finest rift warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. Uh. That said that? Oh. Yep, and... I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time f you go with Link to find Princess Zelda in whatever is causing this blizzard. Uh -huh. No problem, the two of us together have got this. <laughs> I saw Princess Zelda up in the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. The Link, we're counting on you. Okay, that was a bit fast, I thought. There will be something more before we get to... You say me actually there. A Falcon Bow, a highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito Warriors favored this favorite for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further in a, at a real combat. Yeah, I think you'll have to be through here. Yeah, that's a nice. Push. Yeah, replace. I'm sure the two of you can overcome anything if we work together. Don't worry about them, uh, you two should get going. <laughs> Bring me back a nice souvenir, okay, bud? Mm. Our investigations have revealed what's above the, those clouds. You should be ready for anything before you head out. I am ready for anything. Oh, I'm still wearing that.